can you hear that noise? Well it's coming from the little dosage pump that was supplied with my Chinese diesel heater and at its lowest tick over rate of 1.6 Hertz it sounds like a clock ticking all the time but on the high setting of 5.5 Hertz it sounds like a swarm of crickets throughout my motorhome and that can be pretty annoying so in this video I'm going to show you how to silence the pump so you can barely hear it well essentially these pumps are a simple electromagnetic unit and what I've done is I've cut one apart so you can see the workings inside so what you have is a, a copper coil that runs around a chamber where the piston flies up and down now there's an upper and lower chamber uh, non-return valves either end and every time the uh, pump gets a signal from the ECU to pulse this piston will fly up it will shoot a dose of 0 0.02 millilitres of fuel into the fuel line and then it returns and it does this constantly dependent on what setting you've got and each time it's a metal on metal contact bash there so you get a tick 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 now inside oops now inside the chamber here there's no piston rings or o-rings that can uh, reduce the noise of the pulsing there's no oil lubrication to make it quieter so it's purely a metal on metal contact that gives you that constant tick 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 sound so essentially there is nothing you can do to make the insides quieter but there's one or two things you can do externally that make a big big difference now one thing to try are these sound deadening jackets they're made of a a sort of absorbent material and you wrap the pump around them cable tie them together and in effect that ticking noise they absorb some of that noise and stop you from hearing it another thing that I've done is I've used one of these rubber inserts from uh, an exhaust mounting bracket with this one the top hole is used to mount to the bodywork and the bottom hole holds the exhaust but in this case I've bolted it through a bracket and I'm going to mount this onto the side of the bodywork and I'm then going to connect the pump to the lower hole and that way any vibrations and, and sound vibrations from the pump in theory can't be transferred through this rubber it sort of absorbs it so the, the the pump itself is kind of floating in space so what I've done is I've fixed the bracket to the body of the motorhome and the rubber hanging bracket uh, isn't touching anything so I'll just connect the pump to it and it should be almost free floating now the microphone is about a foot away from the pump so you're really getting the full volume of the ticking noise of the pump but that's it fully set up the sand deadening jacket and the vibration bracket there's a little bit of movement every time it pulses to be honest I think I've gained about 20-25% reduction in noise I don't think you're ever going to get rid of it because it's a unlubricated pump it's a metal on metal piston so that's about as good as it gets really 
I'm in the motorhome now and the heater is ramping up to full speed and I don't know if the microphone will pick this up or not but you can just about hear the pump clicking away it's more of a more of a thump than a tinny tick just just have a listen well that's about it for this video I hope you found it useful if your pump has been ticking and annoying you as well it's worth doing these few changes so for now then thanks for watching take care and i will see you on the next video bye for now Thank you.